now we're going to take a look at two key features exclusive only to the Rhinestone Works software. First, we're going to start off with the automatic fill. I'm going to start by, you know, importing a GIF of a heart. I'm going to quickly go ahead and vectorize that. There you go. I'm going to now delete the extra line. Let's shrink this down to something more manageable, uh, two inches. And let's just zoom up on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose the rhinestone fill. I'm going to give that, let's put some SS6 stones inside of there. And let's put some SS6 black stones on the outline. And there you have it, a simple filled heart design in, I don't know, 30 seconds or less. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Second cool thing, uh, we do have the replace tool. What the replace tool does is gives you the chance to, you know, go ahead and specifically swap out parts of the design that you, you know, say you want to change color, you want to change size, or a customer just doesn't like it specifically in that color, you want to go ahead and kind of mix it up, randomize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say, say the customer, you submit to this customer the design called bad, and they say, oh yeah, I like the design, but I want the A in uh, black or in red. So we're going to go ahead and select the A, I'm going to go transform, rhinestone, and replace. I'm going to now select the, uh, let's go with the reds. And go ahead and add that to the list, and replace, and there you have it. Simply, the design has changed from all blue to now blue and red. If I were to take this into the stone counter, you will see that they are now different stones, different colors. Uh, we do have the reds listed down there and the blues listed up there. The cool thing about the replace tool actually is it doesn't have to have been st it didn't have to have been stones in the first place. I could go ahead and import this this design made of purely of circles. Uh, this was actually originally done in I believe Illustrator, and the customer says, you know. I like this design, let's convert it into stones, and you know what, we're going to go ahead and do that, I'm going to select this stone down here, uh, we have here a 2mm stone, so that's an SS6 stone, I'm going to go transform rhinestone and do the replace with rhinestones, I'm going to select by the same color, so what that's going to do is actually going to highlight all of the all of the black circles which are the same color, which is black, I'm going to go ahead and put in an SS6 stone in there, let's, let's do a blue stone, Okay, replace, swap those out. Next, we're going to choose this color. Uh, we're going to see here that it's a 3mm, so that's an SS10 stone. Select all the colors, uh, uh, SS10. Let's put in a redstone here. Keep in mind, though, uh, even though the software sees it as a redstone now, when you take it over to the Libro, or you know your Libro Speed, your Libro Endus, the machine does not specifically care what color it is. It just needs to know that it is, in fact, a unique stone, different from the other stones in the design. Go ahead and replace that. And lastly, this one's a uh, five millimeter stone. We're gonna go and put in an SS20 stone for that one. Select, and we're gonna choose. Let's go with the green one. Simple as that. All the stones have been replaced. And the cool thing actually is uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a, a proof sheet. So we're going to have our dimensions, length and width in millimeters and in inches. We're also going to take the stone count. We're going to copy that to the clipboard and paste it right into text. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's drag it into place. And we're going to select all of it. We're going to publish it. Uh, we're going to call it, of course, coasters. Uh, proof. Exports a PDF containing the vector image, so you know it's nice and clean and crisp. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that now. Send this to the customer. Tell them, you know, this is what your design will look like. The sizes are listed up here, and if you like it in, in inches, it'll be down here. Your stone counts. So you have your SS6 in four, uh, 404 stones. You know, 10s 222, and 20 is 13 stones, and that's your total. So you know, it kind of helps the customer visualize what it's going to look like. It gives them an idea of how many stones there are, and it also helps you uh, when you're trying to invoice them, depending on how many stones and how big the design is. Okay, and there you have it. Those are, you know, two key features only found in Rhinestone Works.